women's 50 meter freestyle s11 final new zealand's mary fisher goes in three lee guishi of china goes in four and maya reichardt of sweden goes in five Schier, Camellini, Fischer, Lee, Reichardt, Pedubna, Brainsma and Tai. Tai having qualified for this final after a swim-off against Leticia Martinez of the United States. Following uh, exact times, a dead heat for eight. And Tai Lewin is first to be introduced, the 17-year-old, uh, looking for a medal from an outside lane, silver in the 100 backstroke. Xu Qing, 28-year-old, bronze in the 400 free. Needs a little more speed in the pool if she is to challenge for a medal here. Lisette Brainsma, gold in the 400 free. The 16-year-old acknowledging the Dutch fans who are always orange-clad and always in numbers at the aquatics venue. Going in lane two, representing Italy, is the defending champion, Cecilia Camellini. Silver in the 400 free, but she won the 50 and 100 freestyle double in London, and Italy are expecting a big performance from Camellini. Morena Pidobna narrowly missed out on a medal in the women's 100 meter backstroke. Fourth place finish in her first of four events. She goes in six. New Zealand's Mary Fisher, a gold medalist already, but in the 100 backstroke. She changed coaches after London 2012. Silver medalist in this event at the 2015 World Championships. And looking for further success in the pool for not only herself, but indeed for New Zealand. And somebody who is in fine form at the moment is Maya Rehardt of Sweden, the 25-year-old. She's yet to get to her best event, which is the 100 breaststroke. A finer breaststroker in S11 you will not find. But a bronze medalist in the 100 back for Rehardt already. But she's going to need to challenge the silver medalist of four years ago, Li Guixi, who has just improved on her times in leaps and bounds. Coming into Rio 2016, Li of China goes in lane four and has laid down the marker a 30.89 Paralympic record and only six hundredths of a second outside Brainsma's world record. Lee will go in four, Brainsma will go in seven. Fisher will go in three for New Zealand, Reichardt will go in lane five for Sweden. And Camellini of Italy, defending champion, so any one of five or six lanes really could claim a gold medal in this women's 50 meter freestyle S11 final. Shir, Camellini, Fischer, Lee, Reichardt, Pedubna, Brainsma and Tsai. World record at 30.83. That belongs to Brainsma. Paralympic record set in the heats to Lee. Lee goes in lane four, but getting away in lane six. Marina Podubna of Ukraine gets away to a very strong start, but Reichardt, once she hits the water and breaks after that fine underwater, leads at the moment alongside Mary Fisher of New Zealand going in three. But coming through the centre now between Fisher and Reichardt is Lee of China. Is she going to be able to break Reichardt's stroke rate here? She's just quickening up. She gets past Reichardt, but they are neck and neck coming to the wall. Reichardt or Lee, who will it be? It looks to be Lee. Lee and Reichardt touching world record time. It is Lee, the head of Reichardt. And two bronze medalists we will see. Brainsma, the world record holder coming into this race, manages to touch with Pedomna, who got off to a superb start. But a splendid sprint from Reichardt that pushed Lee all the way, forced her to a world record time to claim the gold medal. Reichardt swam what would have been a world record had she not been outtouched by Lee Guiji by three one hundredths of a second. Reichardt of Sweden takes a silver in an event that is far from her favorite. Well, Lee Guiji goes one better than her silver 
of 2012. But how about that? We have our third dead heat for a medal in the pool at Rio 2016. There is Pridobna having her goggles checked. Brainspa, also a bronze medalist. There was a dead heat for gold in the men's 100 breaststroke between uh, Mustafa Korv and Fedina, the 100 breast SB13, and Bradley Snyder and Wojciech Makowski dead heated for silver in the 100 breast S11. And now a dead heat in the women's 53 S11 between Brainspa and Podobna. But this was just wonderful to watch. Reichard, who is in amazing form in all strokes at the moment, leading out and looking to hold on against Lee, who needed to swim a world record to beat her. Pushed right until the end, a touch in it, in fact, three hundredths of a second. In fact, it wouldn't have been beyond the realms of possibility to have a dead heat for the gold as well. It was stroke for stroke. The tempos matched almost exactly in that final 15 metres. And as we said, just a touch in it, two one hundredths of a second and a world record for Lee Wei Ji. And Raycard, 30.76. So as you see there, the final standings, Padobna and Braisma. The dual bronze medalists, Kamalini Fisher from New Zealand, Xie Qing and Tsai Li Wen rounding out the field. So the three Chinese athletes swimming